Welcome back everyone. The time right now is 546 and all summer long. 7 News is taking you on zip trips around the Carolinas. Let's go now to Diane Lee. She is helping us kick off this special series. She's in Ware Shoals now giving us a lay of the land and a bit of its rich history. Hi, Diane. Absolutely, Sibila, and I know you know this too, but you can live in an area for a while and really not know its history. Where Shoals has an interesting one. First of all, I am technically in Oconee County, right? I, I'm sorry, Greenwood County right now, but part of Where Shoals is also in Abbeville County as well. And it's it's a very interesting town with a rich history, certainly when it comes to its mills. Now, the Where Shoals Manufacturing Company opened back in 1900. It eventually became the Regal Text Textile Mill. That closed in 1984, but certainly the effects of that mill can still be seen on the community. Here's 7 News reporter Janie Bowman. From the river to town hall, you can see the influence of the Regal textile mill across Ware Shoals. Everybody that lived in Ware Shoals pretty much worked at the mill or was part of the mill or part of the mill family. Right here's that little building. Community members say the mill played an important part in the town's history. We're very fortunate that the founder of the mill, Mr. Regal, chose to invest in the community, chose to have these wonderful buildings built. Some credit Benjamin Regal, the mill owner, with building Ware Shoals. Mr. Regal built quality stuff when he built it. Stuff like this building behind me, the other buildings in town, the mill houses. They say some of those buildings are still standing and in use. The high school was built in 1926 and it still serves as a school today and it's just as beautiful as ever. If you head to Town Hall, you'll see old photos and may recognize the building as the former mill company store. At one time, that was basically your mall. It was three stories and it had all kind of stuff that you needed in it. And across the corner is Catherine Hall, a community center that opened in 1913 and was named after Regal's daughter. It was the People's Amusement Center. It housed um, a movie theater. And back in the day, it hosted so many stars. There was a community effort to restore it, and work could start in the next few years. In 2024, we're slated to receive almost $3.4 million from the Greenwood County penny sales tax. If you're in town, you may notice the mill is long gone. It closed and was eventually torn down after a fire. But community members have given the spot new life, turning it into a green space with an amphitheater while remembering the mill's lasting impact. The mill was the reason that Ware Shoals is, and Ware Shoals continues in spite of the mill closing down. In Ware Shoals, Janie Bullman, 7 News. And the spot of that mill is just down Mill Street, hence the name, and it's still used by Weir Shoals for big events like the 4th of July celebration. Now, Malachi, I, I failed to point out earlier that not only am I is, is Weir Shoals bridging Abbeville and Greenwood County, but also Lawrence County, which right now, unfortunately, is getting a bit of rain. But again, we're hoping that later today when the Catfish Festival kicks off at noon, that we won't be seeing any of this sprinkle. Fill us in. <laughs> All right.